Some years back in the history of peace and submission, when men lived in total brutality and aggression, fortune was worshipped and a reason to torment the poor. Men never slept on high density mattresses, rather on the peanut floor. The rocks on the mountains were shades and shelters to mankind. The innocence of the girl child was lost and justice was blind. She would scream for her life, yet she buried her alive. The carved and decorated stones was the business that fed the family. Unlike Ibrahim alayhi salam, he dragged them on the floor to market them insignificantly. Umar bin Khattab would taste the delicacy of his God when he felt hungry. These and among many were gods whom were to protect humanity. In this life then women were raped, devalued and married without dignity. Bilal alayhi salam, his life and its meaning was not an exception. On the account of proper guidance and instruction, prevalence was immorality and superstition. This led men to live like beasts whilst ignorance fed on them as feast. But for the intervention of the mediator, the greatest griot of all times, an Islamic advocator, he spent years in silence in cave of Hira, a stone thrown from home to better understand a more moral life for a throne. All hail this man who walked on thorns, but for the love of his hummer, he was stoned. All hail this man of essence, Mustafa ibn Abdullah, Imam al Mursaleen, Akhir al Anbiya, Habibullah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For his essence, the age of ignorance has transformed into the age of submission, a niche that you and I must uphold with faithful attention. In this life, then, millions have accepted and acclaimed that position, and in the hereafter, we shall make the Mediator proud. Admiration. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa alihi Muhammad.